Okay, okay. We rehearsed this like three times. Correct. So what are we going to talk about again? We talk about why the piss cord got shut down first. And? Then we mention the reopening, the new rules, and the new roles. And what is the last thing we talk about? If I recall correctly, it was the fan art. Okay, let's run that back one more time. I'm starting to get slightly aggravated by the rehearsal process. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. We went off topic multiple times in the last video. And it won't happen in this one. Calm your circuits, my dear. I have everything memorized. You sure? We discuss the important topics first and show the fan art at the end. And while we're at it, allow me to give you a word of advice. I'm listening. Start fucking recording. All right, and we are live. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We hope you didn't miss me too much. We have a lot of topics to discuss today. And the first one is, is go going to be this amazing piece of artwork that was made by... 12 fucking times, dude. We rehearsed this shit 12 fucking times. I said important topics first and fan art later. In what world is this important? Candy K made this for John. F Candy K and fuck John. We have important important matters to attend. All right, all right, I admit. The child has gotten quite a lot of attention over the past few weeks. People are making fan art of him, drawing him as a demon. And now everyone is calling him and his little team the new Vs. The new Vs? I must say that title is charming. Are you seriously on their side right now? I've been observing them from afar, my dear. And while Jonathan stealing our spotlight might be a potential problem, the truth of the matter is those wannabe Vs are doing quite a good job at keeping the Piscord server stable. What do you mean by watching them? The districts, the management, the bean list, and the overall behavior of the family. Hold on for a second. What was that last one? What was what? The bean list? Correct. When people get removed from the server and are unable to join back in. You mean ban? Nonsense! You're saying it wrong, my dear! It's Bean! Who the fuck told you that it's Bean? It's a hellborn thing. Who's born? <sighs> Feel as though I'm speaking with a child at this point. You won't get it, my dear. You had to be there. Okay, can we just get to the actual topic of the video? Look, everyone! They even made charming little comic books of Jonathan and me- Are you fucking serious right now? Now, now, now. <laughs> Alright, take a deep breath, darling. I told you already, I'm fine. Is the calibration complete? Yeah, can we just get on with the video? Most certainly. I think we will discuss the fan art later. Just ask me the questions, and I'm gonna answer them. Doing a bit of role play now, are we? Are you trying to break me again? All right, all right, let's get on with it. So a lot has happened after our latest video and the Discord server. And while we were prepared for the worst, truth being told what happened was completely and utterly unpredictable. And we are not talking about the verification bot malfunctioning from the sheer amount of people joining. We're talking about the same thing that forced us to shut down the entire server. Reaching nearly 3,000 members in 12 hours is something we struggle to wrap our head around even to this day. However, what happened afterwards, let's just say it was bad. Now don't get us wrong. The whole idea of the server was for you to join in and talk about whatever you want. In fact, if you're a demon, that's still the case. And if you're wondering what demon means, we will be explaining that as well. So just sit back, scrub scribe, nuke the video, and enjoy. Everything was going relatively well in the first seven hours. After that came the issue that we were not ready for. Even we tend to make silly little mistakes every now and then. I say little, though the mistake was quite the large one. We didn't really think about the fact that a lot of you guys were under the age of 18. In fact, a lot of you guys were under the age of 13, and the server was meant for anyone to join and share anything that they like. I believe this is the part where you begin to recognize the issue at hand. The server ended up being filled with quite a few miners, consuming content that was never intended for them. Discord's terms of service didn't really help either, saying that any server owner that understands and knows that there are people under the age of 13 in the server and does nothing about it, let's just say a couple of potential lawsuits, fines, and charges were at hand. Adding fuel to the ever-growing fire, we discovered that a lot of parents were complaining, stating that their child was getting exposed to content that was never intended for them. And while the initial idea for the piss cord server was expressing yourself freely, admittedly exposing minors to adult content was not quite what we had in mind. We tried our very best to address the issue, but at this point it was too far gone. More and more 10-year-olds and 6-year-olds were joining the server, and controlling the audience was becoming harder and harder. 
ultimately forcing us to shut down the server and remove all the links. A not-so-pleasant conversation with Jonathan concluded the fact that we needed to keep the server closed in order to come up with a solution to the existing issue, one that will prevent any miners from joining the server. And admittedly, Jonathan did not disappoint us. And we know that a lot of you may not like the decision we ended up making, but just hear us out. Let us cook, bruv, and we will make it worth your time. Oh my fucking god, dude. Don't you dare and Not start. This shit again. I did my research. Why do you keep doing this? You're just hating on me. I'm hating on you. You a fake one, my G. Cut the can. As we were saying, to avoid miners joining the server, as well as getting us into trouble, we decided to place an entrance fee on the Piscord server. It's basically a one-time fee. No matter what subscription you choose on our Patreon, you will gain access to the Discord server. Sorry to interrupt, my dear. It's Piscord, not Discord. As I was saying, even if you decide to cancel your subscription later down the line, you will still have access to the server. This will ensure that no miners ends up joining without an adult being involved in the process. Join at your own risk. The community often talks about multiple sensitive topics, which you might not find pleasant. Obviously, the wannabe Vs did everything possible to prevent any form of conflict, inconvenience, or discomfort. Indeed. One of the biggest issues we faced was the age gap between all of our users. The solution Jonathan came up with was truly ingenious. I wouldn't go as far as saying it was ingenious, but sure, it was clever. The new and wannabe Vs decided to separate Pentagram City to four different districts. East, South, North, and West. They've also created new roles that you can assign yourself according to your age. Sinners are people that are 13 or 14 years old. Hellborns range from 15 all the way up to 17. And lastly, demons are 18 and above. There's also another role that Alistair is not a huge fan of. Ah, Goisha. The server boosters, basically. And by the way, they also have access to the North District of Pentagram City. So do the Lone Sharks, big f***ing deal. Anyway, we also decided to add the Pentagon, the new and improved central chat, where everyone can come together and have a good time. We have separate channels for everything, including- Actually, I thought it would be better if they read the channel descriptions themselves for once. And while they're at it, they should definitely read the new rules we added. We did add a lot of new features to the server, making it many times bigger than what it was before. But can we please get one thing straight? Depends on what you mean by getting it straight. So if you guys have any questions about the server specifically, or you want to report an issue, or maybe you caught someone under the age of 12 and you have proof of it, send it to the Conjuring District. Not to be mistaken with the Inquiry District, which is meant for questions related to the Hasbin Hotspot channel and characters only. And please keep in mind, you are joining at your own risk. We made a paywall for the server to ensure that no one under 13 gets in. We made multiple text channels and rules to make sure that everyone has a comfortable experience. But at the end of the day, there's only so much we can do. So please join at your own risk, because this is a server that's not meant for everyone. And please follow the rules, otherwise you will get beamed by Jonathan and the others. Okay, I think now is a good time to talk about that little shit. Jonathan's newly claimed spotlight has been an unexpected turn of events. Have you seen everything that's been going on in the server? Probably more than you ever have, my dear. Okay, first of all, f*** you. Second of all, look at this. They're making demon forms of John and the team. I mean, the designs are not bad at look all. Look at this. They're even making comic books. The kids have done so much, my dear. Don't you think they deserve a little spot? I leave that kid for one week and now all of a sudden everyone loves him? Are you sure you're not just being jealous? They're shipping him, Al. They're shipping John with David and Kai. But, but, but that's supposed to be our thing. Exactly. And now they're calling themselves the new Vs. I would agree with you on this matter, my dear. However, they have done quite a lot for the Piscord server. Not to mention the enthusiasm of their character. The new Vs, quite the name, don't you think? They think they can just come in here and replace us all. I gave him a job. I gave his life a meaning. 
I fucking pay him. Really? Fuck no. Thought so. I still can't believe how much attention those kids got while we were away. Aggravating or not, my dear, these are our fans showing their appreciation. And while a potential problem may occur in the future, even you must admit the kids put on quite the show. Who made all this art anyway? The user responsible for all of this amazing artwork goes by the name of Squiggly Vox. The kid really is learning from the best, isn't he? Sadly, that was all the art available to us at the moment. After all, we have to let the others shine as well. I can just imagine all the loan sharks watching this video. Like seriously, they get the privilege of seeing the entire video being made. I'd imagine they get bored of it. Watching the entire production process has to get tedious at some point. As long as everyone is happy, and more importantly, as long as no one is using other creators' art without giving them proper credits, we're gonna be just fine. I'm eager to see what questions our audience comes up with for the next video. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.